Well, dogs in the yard. That's one Bowser right there. I'm at Eddie's house, my buddy, you know, our new detective buddy, Knox, Eddie, the fireman. He's got a shop that take your breath away, woodworking shop. I got that oak board over here. He's getting ready to tune it up a little bit. And I am going to move it back. Everybody's comments was right. It's too far forward. But we'll get to that in a minute at a later date. I'm just talking this video today. Still have saw blades. He's working on this one now. Saw blade knife. Well, we got the edges all trimmed up, nice and smooth. Now we're gonna put that heavy duty sander right there to work. Sand it up a little bit. Miter or what do you call it? Edges. Get it to look like a seat. shun I picked up yesterday. For the life of me, I cannot get it sharp. And I don't know what kind of steel it is. I mean, I sharpen hundreds of shun in global knives. But I've never crossed one like this baby before, ever. I sharpened it on the belt, sharpened it on some stones I had. I sharpened it five times. I got it where it was fairly good shape, so I carried it back to the guy last night and asked him to give me a critique on it, how he liked it. Well, he called me back and said he liked it. It was much, much better than it was before, but it wasn't where it was. So I said, okay, I'll pick it back up. And I did. And I took my boat over to Eddie. Now I'm going to throw it on a wicked edge. Maybe. I've been working on it now for 10 minutes. And I still don't have a burr anywhere on the other side. The hardest damn steel I ever run across in my life. I'll get back to you. I'm just starting on the 400 paddles now. I finally got a decent edge on it. 
I mean, I had a decent air joint yesterday, but it wasn't decent enough. This 400 uh, make a lot of difference. You know, I'm up my grade up to 6 and 8 and 12. We'll see how it goes. The wicked edge. I'll get back to you. Taking her home now. She's all ready to go. to pick the boat up I think we're gonna be pleasantly surprised Eddie's been working his magic on the wood besides the seat this morning he's been working on the side rails for the, the uh, yak attack stuff on that's what he said he's gonna do anyway he's been there he's been there in his house for three hours or so while I've been running errands and dropping off knives and sharpening knives a knife I mean Stand by, we got five minutes to go. Turn the ball, I got my buddy Alex to turn the ball upside down. In other words, we turned this thing upside down and mounted the ball to the other side. Now it'll close the flying. Gets about four inches lower. And here it is. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. We're gonna cut a groove out in here and set the seat in that little groove. We move the seat back about, uh, I'm going to guess, 10 inches, maybe a foot. That's a boat a little further than the original seat was in it before, but it's up high. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Magic. Well, I got a call from the uh, Diamond Jim. He went to the Land Anata this morning at 6 o'clock and hunted for two hours, I think. And he said he found only some uh, change. No kind of bling and no anything. So the land of Nada did not treat him very good on his first visit. And I thought he said he was going to go tonight, but he's got another couple that came with him. It's four of them that came down, and they want to eat at 5 o'clock tonight. And low tide's like at 6, so he said he's going to try to go about 6.30 or 7 when he gets through eating. So maybe we'll get an evening report from the land of Nada from the Diamond Man. I'll get back to you. Finder. We're not going to do any fancy unboxing and all that kind of jazz, but you can probably see it on now already. What we will do is take it out of the box and show you what it looks like. We still have to get a transducer bracket. Figure how we're going to mount the transducer. It's called the Simrad Cruise. Five. Cheap model. Something's up here. I may have gotten more than I bargained for. That's not a five. That is a Cruise 7. I don't know if it tells you that anywhere. Except right here. See what it says? Cruise 7, U.S. Coastal. Man. That's not what I bought. I bought a 5. I got to check on that. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, but we'll see how that goes. That's what it looks like. In the bracket. It's adjustable up and down. You know how it goes. Transducer, nothing special. Instructions, where it clearly says seven. Hmm, interesting. 
Interesting, to say the least.